Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. So let's see what you have going on in love for Leo. What can they expect, Spirit, in love? What can Leo expect in love? What can they expect in love? King of Cups, Nine of Cups, the world reverse. Interesting. So King of Cups showed up and then while I was shuffling, Queen of Cups and Ace of Cups showed up. So feelings, emotions, very important here. I'm trying to figure out, um, some of you could be dealing with a uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Nine of Cups tells me there's a wish granted or someone's very satisfied, happy, um, proud. But the world is reverse. So I'm trying to figure out like why why there's that kind of opposite energy here. The world reverse is typically a card about a lack of closure, things not really ending or a delayed ending, a delayed cycle coming to a close. Or it could also be a delayed beginning um, because the cycle hasn't closed, a new beginning can't really happen there. Where's all of this headed? Oh, the chariot. Cancer energy, justice, Libra energy, and the five of wands reverse. So I see a lot of positive energy here, actually. With the chariot and justice and five of wands reverse, it's like the trouble is over. Moving forward, moving on, having things be fair, balanced, things being made right. So what's the overall energy? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. So I think this is just... Um, a situation where things have been slow to develop. This could be someone that you already know. This could be new love coming in. It's just, it's taken time to get to this phase in love, I guess you should say. Let's get some more insight for Leo. What does Leo need to know regarding love? What's going on for Leo? in love what's going on for leo in love we got love letter a special message is on its way wishing well your wish is being granted sudden realization can i get one more for leo what's this looking great so far what's going on for leo victory lap oh yeah this is looking great Happy ending at the bottom of the deck. I feel like I should just leave this reading here. Um, the end, <laughs> it just looks so great. And um, I'm hoping that we can continue with this energy the rest of this reading. Um, I feel like a lot of you, there is something great happening when it comes to love, when it comes to a partner, um, success, a wish being granted. I mean, this looks great. So let's jump into clarifying this energy for Leo. All right. So tell me about temperance rivers. What's kind of been holding things up or what's slow to develop? What's going on here with temperance rivers? Why is temperance rivers? Justice. Okay. Libra energy. So this could be legal situation. It could just be that, um, justice is taking some time to arrive or you know to justice sometimes can take a, a while especially if you're you know talking about like legal matters and things like that that never happens quickly tell me about temperance reverse if i could grab this queen of cups oh yeah this i feel is like something happening in terms of love um fairness in love justice in love if you're dealing with a, who was it? Capricorn, check out that reading. Page of Pentacles, oh yeah, something's definitely coming towards you, Leo, and it has taken a while to get to you. This has taken time to come together. This has taken time to arrive, this opportunity. And it's regarding love. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? 
Strength Leo energy. Tell me about the King of Cups for Leo. The Chariot. Oh yeah, this King of Cups I feel is coming forward, um, coming towards you. Um, Cancer energy once again. The Chariot shows up. There's movement. There's action. There's the, the being. Um, the Chariot is a card about being on the road to success. This King of Cups is on the road to success. And I feel like they're going to have what they want here with the Nine of Cups. This could be you. This could be your person. Whoever um, you're dealing with now or it could be someone coming in that's new. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Okay, so I feel like someone was worried about... A change or an ending but it's like they had nothing to really worry about ten of swords eight of swords yeah there was fear here and then there's the knight of wands I feel like someone's fear anxiety did not hold them back someone could have been worried about ending a situation um, making a change in their life closing a cycle someone could have been worried or anxious about this but I feel like they still were able to move forward and take action or approach you or you know come forward whatever this is for you Leo um, I feel like someone overcame their fear and they are going to get what they want they're going to be satisfied at the end of it tell me about the world reverse Okay, six of swords, three of wands, and the high priestess. I feel like you were definitely, um, there's definitely some, okay, I'm just, I'm not going to say it's you specifically, but there's definitely somebody moving into a new cycle. It just took forever with the three of wands. The devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. Someone could be leaving um, a difficult situation behind. Tell me about the six of swords. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? For Leo. By the way, there you are, Leo. You showed up with the Strength card. I just realized that. Six of Pentacles, um, and then the Three of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Three of Pentacles after that. Someone could be leaving a third party. Um, I do see that as a possibility. But I'm also getting the sense of someone coming to reunite, to work together, to collaborate with you with the Six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. King of Swords, yeah. Someone could be just wanting to talk things out. Uh, like they're literally coming over to talk or someone has just is being, you know, truth information is very important. So truth or information helps someone make this decision. Why is the High Priestess here? Someone could literally be sending a message with love letter. Why is the high priestess here? This one, I want this one. Five of cups, the moon, Pisces energy. So someone could have been hiding um, their feelings. Yep. Someone could be having regrets or look on the past with the regrets, have experienced sadness or loss, but have kept this to themselves perhaps. With the moon and the seven of cups, I'm also getting like illusions. Something could have been an illusion here. Yeah, there's a seven of swords. So I feel like whatever. Okay, so I get two messages here, Leo. For one group of you, this could be somebody that has a lot of regrets. And there was never really a lot of closure there. Or uh, a situation where someone wanted to make things right, but it just took forever for them to be able to do so. I feel like there's one group of you that is going through that but the second group or the second message I'm getting here which I think is for a second group of Leo's is that someone has been holding on to a loss or a feeling of missing something um, maybe they've been disappointed or sad um, misguided because of illusions and it's like because they were caught up in an illusion Things took longer than they should have. So, for example, this can mean so many different things. But, for example, maybe you were dating the wrong people this whole time. 
and so real love never arrived. It couldn't because there was no space for it to arrive. Or perhaps it was really hard for you to open up to someone because of your past, etc., etc. There's so many different ways that that could um, show up for you. But I feel like balance is happening, justice is happening. So whatever was not right or not fair um, is being made right now. Look at this. Ace of Cups, the Hermit, Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. Are you kidding me? Virgo energy with the Hermit. I feel like a lot of you Leos are getting your happy ending. Your victory is soon at hand, and it has something to do with love. So let's see what this chariot is about. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Page of Wands. Oh yeah, this is someone taking initiative. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Queen of Wands. This is someone taking action. Tell me about justice. Yeah, Four of Wands. This is somebody taking action. There's a four, uh, the King of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Justice, Four of Wands, stability, structure, something to celebrate, happiness, bliss, stability. I mean, this is someone that has taken action to, to get this. Um, I feel like some of you Leos, there's someone coming to talk to you from the past to make things right. And others of you, there's someone new coming in that's going to show you what this, what love could be. It's going to be a fair, balanced love this time. And it's because someone was motivated to, to act towards you. Or you were motivated to act towards someone else. Five of Wands reverse, though, tells me that there is no more conflict, no more drama, no more fighting, no more competing. It's This is uh, all about resolution. Tell me about the five... Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, Three of Cups. I feel like um, whatever was a problem is over. Someone fought for this. And it was very difficult. This was not easy. But it was necessary. Something had to end in order for you to reunite with someone or come together with someone for the first time whatever group you fall under the queen of swords with the ten of swords i feel like <clears throat> i feel like someone was honest enough with themselves to deal with this difficult ending or someone was just very uh, this was an emotionally driven this was a an analytical practical decision to have something end in their life or to fight for a new beginning. Someone could, you know, if you're dealing with someone from the past and they're trying to make things right, they could be wanting to talk about what happened in the past. So let's see who this person, what do we need to know about this person you are or might be dealing with in the future? Spirit, tell me more about the person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. Can we get some insight, please, into the person that Leo is, has, or might be dealing with in the near future? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with? Wow, Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Holy crap. Leo, what is going on? I love this for you because I feel like Leos have been struggling lately at least on my channel and the readings that i get for the collective it's just been a mess after mess after mess but this is looking great i feel like there's new love here opportunity for new love and a cup being offered to you um someone that values you with the queen of pentacles that sees your worth that sees you as a potential partner someone also could have been loyal to you after a long time What else do we need to know about this person's energy? Someone could even be coming to apologize or just bare their soul here. It's a page of cups. 
very emotional exchange or very genuine tender exchange can we get one more energy please for this person that leo could be dealing with i stay up at night thinking of you so again this could be somebody that you are meeting now you could be single and this is someone that you meet and it's it's a very powerful connection or this is someone that you already know i still feel that this is a reading for two groups of leos so take it as it resonates for you if it does resonate for you um or you know you want to share which group you fall under feel free to leave, leave it in the comments is there someone from your past that could be coming forward that you would accept or are you ready for new love are you dating are you putting yourself out there and there's an opportunity here for you to meet someone new is that something you want to claim or is that your wish because i have wishing well here i have the nine of cups here someone's getting their wish granted and it's in the form of love you know your wish for love is being granted i mean that's just what this reading is it's a beautiful reading leo i'm so happy I'm going to take this to the extended now. We're going to be breaking down this energy here for your person. What do we need to know about them? Any insight on their intentions or next actions towards you? I feel their next actions will be this page of cups, some sort of message that you're receiving. I also want to look at this nine of cups, wishing well energy. What do we need to know about that? Any insight um, on that? Because I feel like a lot of you are getting a second chance or a new beginning in love. And I think this was possibly manifested or I don't know. It's just your time to shine. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the extended if you're curious and want to know more about your person. It's going to be linked in the description box.